Hello everybody! It's the Game Reaver here, back for episode 3 of Windcraft. When we left off last episode, I was... I just did a quest and then was trying to use my skill points. And then, of course, they decided to do maintenance, and so I had to get off. This time, hopefully there won't be any maintenance. And I'm also planning on doing a longer video than normal, instead of the normal 10 minutes. Also, last episode, I said soul points, but I never said actually what they were. These are soul points. The nether stars. Just to make that clear. Also, I don't think I said every morning, as it just showed in the chat, as the sun rises, you feel a little bit safer, a plus one soul point. So now, you might have just saw I was just at eight, now I'm at nine. Now, let's use, hold on, actually, I need to turn down the music on that. Okay, there we go. We were trying to add some to this, now we got two on this. Uh, let's go three. Uh, a little bit of critical. Damage. Yeah, let's give myself a little bit of defense. Okay. Okay. Well, you know, I think we need maybe do another quest. Now let's farm a little bit. Choose some fighting. As soon as I get to a level 11, I'll be getting a new attack, which will make fighting a little bit funner. Do do do. Oh yay, hambies! Murder, my favorite, my favorite pastime, murder. And if they would let me hit them, there we go. I wasn't activating my spell. There's an instant level five. This is the this is a great spot for farming at low levels. If you're looking for a spot to farm, go right out here, right outside Ragni. As you see, I got a crap ton of zombies coming from everywhere, so... Just murder, 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 murder! You'll rack up the experience in no time. Um... So yeah. I'll probably make a... farming guide at some point. I might do that sometime here soon. But the problem is, I can only go up so high, because on this account, the game Reaver, my highest level character is only like level 20, so I can't do all like the really high farming spots. So that might have to wait a little while until I get my main character up higher, or this one up higher. I might show all the farming spots here in the Let's Play, but still, I might make one. See, I went from four at the start of this episode to six. That quick. But look at this beautiful scarecrow. He's so majestic. And I'm stuck in water. Look at his face. He's, he's just beautiful. Beautiful, I tell you, beautiful. Oh, man, another one. I think you just... Th dude, this dude's just copying that one. That one's, that one's the original. I can feel it. I can feel it in my spear. Which spear am I talking about? This one? Or this one? You don't know. Yeah, that was just weird. <laughs> oh, money. I need the monies. Because I, I want to show another thing as soon as I can get a weapon I can. Or, wait, do I have any armor I can show it on? I don't know. I can't worry about that now. I need a murder. Which is five levels away from. The, our new spell. Uh, I think it's like charge. Yeah, charge. We have to charge up people's faces and murder. See, they just. Ooh, ooh, the undead, the undead. That's a high loot. High loot and experience giver, but it takes. It's kind of like a mini boss that you can sometimes find around here. Which is cool. Ooh, Helen. Just gotta make sure you don't die to it. Ah. 
because he's level 9 compared to all the normal level 1s. I'm not even level 9 and I'm going to take it down. Look, the zombie train! Oh, it's conga line. Zombie conga line. Conga, conga, conga! I don't know. And now everybody's dead. Wait, weren't they already dead because they're zombies? Ah, oh, double death! The explosions of death is, is death itself. I don't know. Well, I don't know how many minutes I've been recording, but I'll probably... But as soon as it hits ten minutes, it might end off abruptly because I forgot to set a timer or anything. Tell me when it's ten minutes, but then I'll do a quick jump cut. Ah, oh, crap. I died. Then I'll do a quick jump cut and... Then start up the next part, and it'll just keep going so I can do a longer video. Thinking at least 20 minutes, if not more, I don't know. Ooh, doo -doo, doo -doo. Well, let's get out of there before I die. Okay, now let's check. Do we got it? What type of loot do we got? Ooh, yes. Let's stick this on. It's got 16 defense. This is nine. That's another one of those. Let's stick these on. We probably have plenty. That if we head over to the armor shop over here, and instead of using the door right over there, we're gonna be epic and just go through the window. If I can jump in a window. Robert, and I can't jump in a window. Why can I not jump in this window? Ah, I fell at jumping into windows. Okay, there we go. Ah! Said I can't hit you. Well, we got that, we got that. Oh, we need that, though. Damn pantaloons. We can't wear this yet, but we'll grab it anyway. Okay, now we have some armor. Oh, man. I, my face is still messed up. But my friend Kerbachu is making me a, has made me a skin, and I'm going to be going checking that out tomorrow. So, here soon, probably in the next episode, uh, I'll be probably having a new skin. Should look way better than this one. <laughs> so we'll be checking that out tomorrow. Oh, well, I will, not you guys, but yes. Yeah, so, also, I'm planning on doing s sometime here soon, shortly in the future, planning on doing a uh, series with Kerbju. Ah, oh, man, this sounds like really loud. I'm not sure how loud this is for you guys, but I know it is loud for for me, so I need to turn this down while randomly running. Okay, that should do. Okay, that's better. Okay, level 7. Also, getting these multiple more levels should make it so I don't have to I have more options of quests I can do. Got a little bit of money around here. Back in town, let's check the quests after coming over here to run so I'm safe. So we got Cook's Assistant and Spider Cave. Ooh, Spider Cave's a new quest. Let's add one to each of those. More defense. More of that. And I'm gonna about to be attacked. Goodle. Ah. Yeah, like that. Not that. Not that. Here. Extra mana. And extra defense. I'm gonna need extra dexterity. Forgot about that. Well, let's head over to the. Did I get. Yeah, all I have is oak. Okay, I wanna head to the. Weapon sh merchant over here so I can get. A new spear. Yeah, it's probably just about 10 minutes. Oh, yeah, it's gonna hit 10 minutes here soon. I don't know exact. So if it randomly if it randomly cuts for a sec, yeah, yeah, it, it hits ten minutes. Okay, so if I go here, I can get for thirteen emeralds, Birchwood spear, which I can use at level six. And since I'm level seven, got it. Oh yeah, that I didn't switch. There we go. Do do do, do do do, boo do bam Sorry, this just. The music it flows through my veins. I love it so much. Oh, I must. No, sorry. Hello, guys. Sorry. Yeah, there was the 10 minute mark. 
Okay, all I did is I stepped over there so I'd be safe when I started up the next part. Okay, so as I was saying, we're gonna go do Spider Cave's quest because the cook's assistant, it says it's easy, but it's a long quest, so. Don't really wanna do that just yet. Sorry. Maybe I'll be able to show it finally what loot chests are like. Oh, yes, I can. See the particles up there at the top of this? That is a loot chest. Particles, well, that is if you have particles on. Go video settings and you go particles. Minimal, it says minimal, but I'm. It's more or less off because if you look, no particles coming out of that chest. You can also do all, and there's even more particles. I normally keep it at decrease, so there's some. It's still quite a bit. Open this up, you can get anything from from emeralds to weapons and armor. And when you take the stuff, you close it, it'll break the chest. They'll respawn. They spawn in certain areas. I don't think I've gotten to show loot chests yet. I think I was trying to talk about them in the first episode. Never actually got to show them. Yeah, I think I was trying to show one down here, and that dude I probably got it since I saw you do down there. Oh. Would I? Could I just hit them? There we go. There we go. Get in there. Get in. There. Get in there. Now, if I take. Okay. Here's another thing. See this hel helmet of intelligence? It's a unique item. If I take it in my hand. I right click on one of these item identifiers. It'll say to identify, add six emeralds. And that dude left the door open. Okay, thanks, dude. No, no running away item identifier. If I stick in this, it'll identify it. Now it says down in the bottom, in gray, below unique item, it says spell damage plus two percent. This, since it's a low level unique item, it can only be identified once, but some items can be identified up to like four times the most I've ever seen. Might be able to go up to five, depending on the items. But you can do that to give yourself. So now my spells, when I do stuff like this, it deals a little bit more damage. Only 2% more. It doesn't sound like a lot, but it's helpful. Also, don't just toss any of these, like, bows you see. Yeah, well. Not, but not just bows, like, because you might be an archer. But don't toss all these weapons, because you can sell them at item merchants for... Depending on the item, you can sell them for quite a bit of emeralds. Okay, so you just need to keep coming down this way. And you'll see up here is where we did the f did that one quest. And Zan's brother. There's Thurk. Keep coming. You just follow this, watch out for the spiders, they can get a little dangerous when get big groups of them. They're level 6. There's also the level 8 zombies in here. They don't actually go 1, 2, 3, 4, yeah, they don't count up like that. They just, like, skip ahead of... So this is... Haytath, or Hotath. Hello there, young traveler, I can see that you are looking for a challenge. Well, I got one for you. You see, I'm looking for a specific plant named Sakaram. I've heard that this cave may contain some. Unfortunately, it is infested with spiders. I'm not strong enough to risk this. Could you explore this cave and bring me three Sakaram as soon as you can? So, we just come in here without dying. I don't want to kill off some spiders. Yeah, I don't think I can do this just yet. Hold on. Ooh. I've been here for a sec. Sink down. I need to drink one of the health potions. And then I got a water bottle. So I accidentally filled it up. Okay, I need to get out of this. Okay, I need to get out of here. I need to get out of here. I'm about to die. Okay, this is not going too well. I guess I can't show that yet. I suck it to warrior. I don't want to level up some more before doing that. If I was mage or something, yeah, I'd be able to handle that easily. But not of that level. Not of this level. Warrior. Okay, you know 
like good. If I go in here, I can get some more potions that will help. This mage can heal. Has healing spell zone. Let's start with zone that helps. Fill up this whole bottom area with this. So I should drink one now. Drink the bottle. We'll just keep it there for now. And let's grab one more. Okay. Cool thing you can do is you can uh, blast through this door or so. So you come out. It's another way you can farm, but I'd rather just go to the getting place and just from them up that way. But whatever floats your boat or sinks your ship. Do you want to sink your ship? That's up to you. <laughs> Get yourself killed? That's your fault, not mine. You can't blame it on me. <laughs> okay, so now let's try this again now that we're higher on health. Got the quest. We need to just head in here. And get down without dying, get back up without dying. It doesn't sound like the hardest thing, right? Wrong. Well, depending. Right now it seems to be pretty easy, but then once you get up here, there's a bit more. I need to stop for I need to stop for a sec from my hunger. So I can actually run. This part just jump down. Just don't land it on a lily pad or something, you will die. And all these reeds, that's the Sacrum. I forget how much do I need to get? Three. I think I need to get like one more. Okay, here's some more. Then you just head back up. You can swim up the waterfall, but then you can get jumped by spiders. And so I'd rather just come up the stairs and slowly fend them off as I go up. There's not this normally this many on the stairs, but okay. Take them down and keep going. Hoping to get this quest done in this episode, but I think I might do a long episode. Like I was already saying, this is at least going to be a 20 minute episode. Get off. This is my perch. I don't know. Mine. I claim it. It's now mine. Get your butts off here. Okay, never mind. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Run for it. Run, Forrest, run! The spiders, there's so many. <laughs> yeah, if you got arachnophobia, yeah, you might not want to do this quest. This is exactly what I wanted. Thank you for your help. Here, take these emeralds. You deserve them. So, we got 75 experience points and 18 emeralds. Not the biggest quest, but... Eh, it helps them. Now let's get out of this forest, because there is too many spiders here. I don't have arachnophobia, but still. Just a little deadly. Stretch, run, 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 run. You know, I'm not sure if I've ever heard this song. I don't know. Probably, I don't know, though. <laughs> and I can... Uh, so we got only 17 emeralds, we're pretty low on emeralds. Ow. That's my face. Well, let's see if the chest down below the item identifier has come back yet. Probably not, but still, let's check. Okay, there's normally one right here. I think I said that, cause didn't like the first episode, but so saying that again. It normally has a lot of emeralds. So, if you need to identify something and that hasn't been grabbed, that'll help you identify things so you can just go grab a whole bunch of emeralds. Remember, don't go in the pigment caves. Deadly. Meh. There is chests down there, though, that you can only get. They respawn pretty often. Because there's, mul there's multiple ones. Ah, I can't get up there. Okay. Well, I can, but I. No. I tried too hard. Well, let's get a group of zombies together. Oh, there's already somebody farming here, so let's just do these ones. It's been nice. Hey guys, sorry, I didn't notice that it just cut off again. Okay, well, I'm probably gonna finish it up here soon. I'm not sure when it exactly it cut off, so I'll just explain all the dies again, just in case. 
Sorry if this is a repeat for some people. I don't know if it. Well, if it's, I don't know if it's a repeat or. I'm sorry. Where am I? Well, either way. Red powder gives fire aspect on uh, weapons and fire resistance on armor. Um. Then. Gives fire aspect on what? Fire resistance on armor. It gives. Um, blue gives knockback on weapons and feather falling on armor. So you might want to put that on your boots. And then green gives uh, sharpness on weapons and thorns on armor. Well, I need to go grab those weapons I saw out there because there might be a good spear out there. Want a better spear? I hope it's still sitting out here somewhere. I saw it. Yes, it's there. Perfect. And I hit level 8. I'm not sure if you guys saw that either. Because uh, I just noticed it got out. Well, either way. Probably gonna get off here soon. But hey! Why the heck not? Let's do what I've seen some newbie. YouTubers do. Say hi to YouTube. Is it lagging? Hey, don't think so. Nope. YouTube hates you too. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, I'm probably gonna end off the video here soon. I will see you guys next time, which will be sometime soon. I'll probably do an episode here tomorrow or the next day or something, hopefully. Hoping I'm doing videos often, more often. Well, I hope I covered everything I was going to cover. And knowing me, I'll, right after this video, I will remember something I was going to say. Well, the other way, we broke in again. <laughs> well, see you guys in the next video. This is the Gaming Reaver. See you later.